Round three of the 2019 Australian men's interstate teams matches. Another cold morning with Queensland taking on the home team, Tasmania, in front of an interested local crowd. Lockie Colborne led out for Queensland once again in the number seven encounter. He was undefeated on day one, but he met his match today against Andrew Phillips, who hails from the Tasmania Golf Club. Phillips hold a bunker shot on 17 to seal a three and one win. Louis Dobelar representing Queensland in the number six match. This was a great recovery shot on the 12th, but he'd go down to another Tasmania Golf Club member. Mark Schulz is playing his 16th straight series for Tassie, and he'd win four and three. To the number four game, which featured Tasmanian Joey Bauer in his first men's series. Queensland would post their first points here though. Lewis Hoth was six up at the turn, and would ultimately win four and two. Chris Crabtree was second last out for Queensland in the number two match. He was up against Mitch Van Noord from Tasmania, with his opening tee shot to two feet on the 292 metre par four, and would run away with the win, five and three the margin. Top match, Tasmanian Greg Longmore up against Queenslander Jed Morgan. It was all square after six, but Morgan won six of his next 10 to win six and four. So that's three wins for Tasmania, two for Queensland. The last two matches would be tight and critical. Joel Stallett from Queensland was fighting hard to stay in touch. He trailed for all of the front nine. Tasmanian junior Ryan Thomas playing well. He led one up after 14. But then this happened. Stallett for birdie on 15 to square the match. Stallett for par on 16 to go one up. Stallard for par on 17 to stay one up. And Stallard needing two putts from long range for par on 18. Thomas had a birdie chance to square the match, but Stallard had made it three all thanks to his one up win. One final match, there was nothing in this all day. Queenslander Laurie Flynn up against Tasmanian Craig Hancock. They were all square on the 18th tee, and Flynn made the mistake by going long on the uphill 165 metre par three. There is no chance of stopping it from back there on the slick bent grass greens of Tasmania Golf Club. They've been in great condition all week long. That would lead to a bogey. Crowd looking on the stage set for Hancock to become the hero in front of his fellow Tasmanians. Two putts good enough for a one-up win. The final contest score going the way of Tasmania, four games to three.